Center Stage, brought to you by Grosvenor Road Studios. Hello, hi and welcome to Centre Stage. I'm here at Grosvenor Road Studios with Kieran and John from Corvettes. So guys, hello, welcome. Hi. <laughs> Do you want to tell our viewers a little bit about yourselves and the band? I'll take it off then. Okay, um, well, Corvus is uh, like a melodic rock pop band, and um, we don't really like to categorise ourselves into um, into like a one particular market, as yeah. the style is so vast. Um, I essentially think that the kind of style we're looking to go for is very akin to Toto of the late 80s. Okay. Their kind of style. Yeah. Basically, um, something that's going yeah. to appeal to everyone. It's kind, kind of kind of very, yeah. very varied and, and so you don't limit of, yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, exactly, exactly that. I mean, I, exactly that we appeal to everybody. Mm -hmm. There's always something there. And uh, we, we made a point in, of every single song that we write um, that it's got to be catchy. Yeah. People have got to be singing it. It's oh gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be real, real single chorus that, you know, stuff everything. that gets stuck in your head, you can't get it out. <laughs> Even when you don't uh, like it, you say that in you will like it. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> so how did the band start? Do you want to take this one? Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, basically, um, myself and John, along with the other guys in the band, were all brought together on a um, uh, another project. We were kind of session musicians because we all do session work as okay. well as as well as other things. Mm -hmm. And um, when when that sort of came to a conclusion, uh, John and I stayed in touch, and, and we were like saying, "Well, you know, we get a bit sick of doing other people's stuff. Let's start doing stuff for ourselves." So it was about two years ago. We um, we just started writing. Let's just see what we can come up with. Yeah, we just kind of threw everything. Yeah, into the blender. just no no sort of you know boundaries on what we were going to write. We were writing yeah. pop, rock, you know, all sorts, reggae even, um, and um, and we just sort of we started to think. Yeah, we're kind of getting something here. There's something. There's something here. We need to do something about it. So we thought, right, let's go in the studio. So we actually, we actually recorded a reggae song first. No way. Um, yes, called cool. yeah. "Don't Let the Sun Go Down." Oh my! Uh, I want to sound for. I want a little yeah, yeah, Which there is. A, it's been changed now, but it is on the album. It's no longer reggae, but okay. we still do have the yeah. reggae version there the as an album, alternate. That's chasing miracles, right? Yes, the album chasing miracles. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so so. We, we sort of did this kind of thing and then and then we sort of realized that you know the direction we needed to go it was actually our producer said um, he said you know what guys you need to be doing a rock album mm -hmm. with the music w that we were coming in with do you all agree on that and uh, well, well the two of us yeah we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, well yeah it, exactly rocks, rocks uh, both our it hearts lends, it lends it to, um, to all of us individually because um, we're all kind of um, as as we we work we work for other people as well. We kind of all like big musicians. We can take on anything that yeah. people ask us to. Um, and as a, you know, I've told Kieran time and time again, like each each member of the band, they can stand alone in the room and they can light up that room. Mm -hmm. But where we just stick it all together? We've all got rock at our heart, you see. Yeah. So so that was the thing when 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 Alex said that it was just like. Yes, let's yes. let's do that. And so we're saying, but if we're going to do that, because originally we were just going to do something for the two of us, yeah. we said, well, we've got to get a band around us. Who do we know? So we contacted the other guys. This is what we're doing. Do you fancy being part of it? Hell yeah, they say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is the result. It kind of just like gelled in slowly, because at first everybody saw it as kind of like a, a bit of a jam, a bit of a reunion of sorts, because yeah. we hadn't seen each other in a while. and. Um, we didn't exactly the chorus didn't exactly exist to begin with. We were just like, let's just let's just then record let's a song. See what happens. See what happens. See what happens. If if we if we get to the end today and we want to kill each other, we know. <laughs> yes, we know about that. Right, you, you know, you know. But um, <laughs> you, you gotta give these things a, a go. And uh, it was like, okay, let's uh, record a few more, and then yeah. we've got okay. Uh, yeah, we did, the whole we, did, yeah, we, did, we did three songs essentially, we got yeah. them fairly finished to a good quality demo standard and that's when we sat back and went, you know, we've really got something here yeah. uh, and that's when we said, right, we're going to do an album. So can I ask, yes. where did the name Corvus come from? <laughs> I think I came up with it, didn't I? We were, like, look, we, we were saying, what could we do? And I think you mentioned 
think of star constellations or yeah. something. So I did a quick, let's have a look at, and I saw this, and yeah, Corvus is a star constellation, but it is also Latin for raven or crow. So if you look in the logo, you've got this space sort of planet thing, but you've also got the wings for the crow, you see. I like it, I like it. So that was Alex, our producer. He's also uh, does the artwork as well, you see. So oh, that can that. Yeah, a bit of a throwback to the crow at the time. Kieran's supporting case was that he looks like Brandon Lee from the crow with the shirt off. <laughs> So, therefore, I've got the muscles. Yeah, it's about that. Yeah, we'll get yeah, we'll get cool to go out to Paris <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, yeah. So can I ask who does what in the band? I remember you saying that there's two other members, is there? Yeah. There's two other permanent members. Yeah. And obviously, I'm singer, John's guitarist, and we're the principal writers. Yeah. And then there's Nick Jevons, who's the keyboard player, and Jordan Brown, who's the bass player. Um, we don't have a permanent drummer at the moment. The album, uh, it was Alex, the producer, who is also... <laughs> <laughs> Just that out there. Yeah, that's the one. But yeah, Alex, Alex, the producer, who is also a fantastic rock drummer, yeah. he's done the drumming on the uh, the album. You know, he, you know, came up with the drumming sort of sequences and recorded it and everything. But unfortunately, because he's a music producer, he can't sort of commit yeah, to the band full can't. time. Yeah. So we are going to have to find another drummer for uh, for our live shows and that because he can't always make it. But we need to expect that though, because um, as things go, I mean, we see uh, this band being able to go out a lot and uh, be able to take it on the road, and we need people that can fully commit to that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, he can't. He can't take like a couple of months off to go tour in Europe because because yeah. he's got commitments through the studio. So, so are you touring currently? Not currently. The idea is is when we we're, we're gonna get sort of try and get everything ready for when the album's due to be released. So we can just burst on yeah, the scene. Yeah. That's 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 our plan, isn't it? Yeah. Just rather than filtering, trickling in, we want to just burst yeah. onto the scene. We want everything in place. I mean, that, hence the reason why it's taken two years. Yeah, as, <laughs> about, as opposed to we're uh, very careful getting yeah, everything just it's, right. It's been a yeah, uh, it's been a very slow burn. But it'll be worth it when it all comes together. Well, oh, it's hoping. I mean, definitely. Well, that's that's listening to the, listen, listening to the, the the final mixes, they you know you just sit there thinking, wow, it really is a wow, wow factor when you listen to it. Yeah. And um, we cannot wait for people to to hear it. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> it is it's very exciting. I see things that are. Uh, Obviously, we have day jobs as well to keep ourselves going. That so yeah. we're constantly telling each other, each other's like, we can't wait. We need to get this stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait till we see the day job and do so the yeah. and just uh, have this stuff there. But it's, it's, it's very difficult yeah, it's, to be a full-time musician these days. It's, it's the way of the world. It's very hard yeah. to to it's make a living. Yeah, so yeah. you kind of have to until you really make it as it were you've got to kind of juggle all these things and that gets very difficult i work seven days a week doing lots of different things including you know some of it's glamorous like modeling and things yeah, like that but other, it's, it. yeah, <laughs> other things aren't so you know aren't so glamorous and you just sort of there go oh, can't wait till i don't have to do this anymore and then every now and again we get the opportunity. We got we got some Corvus for later coming up. Oh like, yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> it's like yeah, that's what we want to be doing. Yeah. So, <laughs> so what, what is, what's your future like? If you could have anything in the world, and it obviously involved Corvus, <laughs> where would it, where would you see yourself in I the see, future? Corvus, where would you see it? Well, my initial plan with Corvus is to make a trilogy of albums. So we have at least three albums. That is the the the, uh, the long term goal, mm -hmm. at least for it. Something to stand the test Something of time. Stand, test, so it's like time, leaving the legacy, leave the legacy behind because it'll always yeah. be there then. Yeah. And we'll, we try and we always try and write sort of quite uplifting songs and things like that. Yeah. So things that will touch people, things that will you know people can relate to and, and stuff like that. So you know that's that's what we're hoping. You know, mm. for me personally, I love helping people. Mm -hmm. I like like doing charity work and things like that and, and you know to help someone just gives you such an amazing feeling and if we can do that through the music as well that would just be like Win -win. fantastic yeah <laughs> yeah that's that's what I would really hope for no, so, sorry sorry no. I, I'd say from that music standpoint as well okay so we want to try and take people on a journey so you see all these like weird and wonderful sounds which 
the amount that I've actually thought were possible mm -hmm. on like a standard pop or rock track. Yeah. But um, you listen to it and it's like, okay, but this is something else entirely. It's not standard. I like it. Standard alone. <laughs> isn't, yeah, it's not one of these standard tracks that you've heard a million and one times before. You're going to have about 20 or 30 vocals at once hitting you. Um, all the harmonies yeah, and things. Yeah, everything's going to be hitting. Yeah, you, yeah, you're going to be you're going to be up one minute and down the next. Stop your heart out. Yeah, <laughs> exactly that. Exactly that. That's the point of it. The album is over an hour long. Yeah, thirteen tracks. And oh, there's a there's a big variety as well. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got we've got the sort of pop rock type things. We've got. A couple of kind of classic-y rock stuff that you, you would say in that way. We've got, you know, a really gorgeous light ballad where it's just strings and things like this. And then um, you, we've even got a kind of... Um, it's almost gospel -y, isn't it? Yeah, sort of, gospel you know, to, towards the end. Take you to church. You know, it's a, this it's chanting, this yeah. chanting yeah, yeah. called Where Do We Run, you know, and it's, it's you know... That's the thing, all these different things, so you're not just listening to the same thing over and yeah. over again. It is a real journey as you go through yeah. listening to the whole album. That's great. All right, well, to finish off the interview, I've got a little spin on a game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not that bad, don't worry. So, have you heard of Snug Mary and a Boy? Yes. Okay. Okay, well, it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, wow. I'm just no, like... it's not that. It's, instead of Snug Mary and a Boy, it's called Tech. Or avoid. So I'm going to give you three artists to work with, and you've got the chance to either call them back to work with musically, text them, or just avoid them. <laughs> like, no, That's dangerous. We call this is an in interesting. We'll see. Come on. <laughs> okay, so we've got. Let's go with Beyonce. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna add the rest. <laughs> I'm gonna add the rest. Beyonce, Elvis, or Bob Marley. Bob Marley was a great man. Um, you know, I would have loved to have worked with him and Elvis Presley as well in his in his sort of in his day. But you uh, can only call one man. He said we're one. alive as well. Obviously, obviously. yes. We might have to like dig um, the grave and just get them out. <laughs> We probably have different saying, but what would what would you go with? You can put an answer. I would um text the answer. Okay. I'd <laughs> I'd, I'd call Marley. Yeah, you'd avoid Elvis. You'd avoid Elvis. <laughs> you see, when I, because I do solo stuff and I do all sorts of other stuff and I actually do a load of Elvis things in my solo sets. So, yeah, uh, so. so I'd have to, I, I think, I think for me it would have been call Bob Marley, text That's Elvis nice. and avoid Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Beyonce. Fair enough. You know, sort of, yeah. It's just my my world. Eh? Okay. <laughs> I got my my uh, my fiance is Jamaican, so if oh. I didn't call if I didn't call Bob Marley, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I, can't, I do love Elvis. Yeah. There are certain like I'm I'm, I'm looking. The trouble is he came back. He came at the same time. Elvis <laughs> became a kind of caricature of himself. That was the only trouble. But yeah. uh, his you know for what he did. He was a great writer. Yeah. He, he knew exactly what he was doing. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely left a legacy. Oh, yeah. huge. Yeah. There's not many people who are bigger, basically. Mm. So. Well, you guys, Kieran, John, you've been great to interview. <laughs> I hope I haven't been bad. Yeah, I hope you've liked it. <laughs> and um, when's the album out? Chasing We haven't got a set date, but we're looking at hopefully towards April 15. Okay. But it all depends on the way the music world goes, it all depends on what the record company does. Mm. They may hold it off a bit longer. But yeah. we're kind of hoping for the first quarter. Well where of can the I, year. where can our viewers find your music, get in touch? Um, at the moment they can join us on our Facebook page to just follow um, regular updates. Just uh, Facebook.com forward slash Chasing Miracles. That's right. That is all up to date, current and that. The website is being built. Okay. The address yes. is CorvusUniverse.com. Okay. Um, and so fairly soon that will be up and running as well. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, shake my hair. <laughs> you guys have been great. It's great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. 
Okay, this has been centre stage here at Grosvenor Road Studios. Thank you, we'll see you next time.